So both of these are lit. This is a really nifty little coil. I can take away one of these and uh, just to show you with one coil. Okay. Just putting it over here like that and getting some good lighting here. I checked, the, I checked these LEDs. It's about 2.5 volts. But I'm not really concerned with the voltage right now. So this is the way that goes. Uh, let's take another one here. This is the GK Special based on the winding that he did recently with his metal covered coil. This here is basically a battery, a battery cable for an inverter with two turns and I found that the best way uh, this is 18.1 uh, megahertz and it should be placed about like so let's go and get 18.1 megahertz there it is 18.1 megahertz and look at that <laughs> pretty incredible now okay let's stop here a second I just want to explain to you something what this really means for me uh, see this coil here it's 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 just two turns now I can have ten of these placed at different angles around this one toroid and have ten of these LEDs lighting up okay and basically I'm running that toroid right now at 16.5 uh, volts and figure 0.2 amps is, is what, it, what it gave me when I checked it but again I'm not really I don't really care about the voltage or the amperage well I wanted to see is so I want to see effect so this one here is working extremely well very good coupling just with two points touching here on one side of this thing which is pretty incredible uh, okay let's put this one aside uh, let's take this one here. This is a little nifty one. Okay, let's put this like this. Let's put that here. Put that about right there. This one here is a 10.8. So we can go and drop down. There you go. 10.8. Look at this. Now this one here is six strands of Litz wire bundled together going around this circle here twice and then coming out then one end is going into the outer coil here and then coming to the LED so I have one end it's the Litz one end is the outer coil on that uh, on that LED you can see right here and right here so, uh, that's about it for that one. Pretty nifty. And this, this thing here really works in a whole bunch of different, different angles also. This one here is an extremely nice one. Nice, nice uh, effect that I get on it. Okay, let's show you this thing here. This thing here just came off of an AC fan. It's just a coil for an AC fan, uh, fan motor. That I took off. I took the uh, the uh, the armature off the center, and I kept this coil intact. I bypassed this little thing here. I put my LED directly onto the wires. And the way this one works is like so: just put it through the center. Okay, and let's go and find the frequency for this one. There you go. Et voila. Very nice. Actually, when that toroid, when the windings are a little tighter, that toroid will fit all the way through this coil and uh, just be perfectly centered inside. Right now, I don't want to do it because I got some other things. I just don't want to play with the windings. So this is one thing. This is another one. Uh, a very, very interesting one is this one here. This one here I call my FTPU. Okay, FTPU 6.3 megahertz. So let's get this to 6.3 megahertz. And I got nothing. But what I found 
was that when you take one of these wires here, because the way this is, the way that I hook this up, I have two turns on the top, two turns on the bottom, and then I've got an outer control coil going all the way around. It's one coil going all the way around the top one, all the way around the bottom one, and everything is in series. So the horizontals are one after the other, then they go into the top outer coil, uh, control coil, and then the bottom control coil, and then I'm getting one end on here, one end on here. And what I found was when I put this like this, that's when I get it lit up. Let's just get this thing here straight. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop this video so I can get it a little, a little tight. Okay, okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, actually, I didn't have it at 6.3 megahertz. I had it at 6.3 kilohertz. So at 6.3 megahertz, we can see this LED is lighting up right there. But just to show you, it has to do with this center wire here. One of the wires of this whole winding is going above the toroid. And because of that, I'm getting light. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult to find the right place. It'll also work if I just put it on the side here. If I put it over the thing here, any of these wires going through the center, I'm getting a nice lit, nice lighting. Uh, this LED is not the same model as the other ones that I had on my other things. Okay, let's stop this and we'll get another one set up. Okay, we're back and uh, here is another coil winding that's on an aluminum center ring and uh, the outer is just a, uh, if I remember correctly, this is 24 gauge uh, wire that's going all the way around once and then all the way around continues from there all the way around twice. Comes out, goes into my ring, comes out of the ring and uh, well actually here's where my LED is. So my LED is between the the center ring and the outer coil which is all in series and uh, let's just find the frequency for this is going to be pretty high and there you go it's kind of hard to see here it's kind of hard to see jeez sorry if you can't see that much but uh, okay that's lit but the thing I want to show here, this is this one here, this coil here I call the more of an OTPU, uh, which is the uh, open TPU type with the toroid horizontal, uh, yeah, no, vertical, which is the same thing as in the OTPU, it's right behind the circuit board, which is about right here. And uh, this outer winding here can equal the windings that are that are on the OTPU, you had the four sections there, one, two, three, and four. And what I figure is you probably have two conductors in those wires and it's probably going through twice. Uh, now just remember that all I'm putting in here is like 16.5 volts and like uh, 0.2 amps and uh, from that distance I'm still getting some coupling on that on that LED. Okay, so we'll stop this and continue with another one. Okay, 